is Erica from Brains of Beauty and today I've got a product review for you. I actually got quite a few different goodies from Dazzle Pro. They sent me some whitening stuff and a toothbrush and I'm actually going to do three different videos from each of these products but for today I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about the Dazzle Pro Advanced GT Sonic Toothbrush. And most of you guys are probably familiar with the Philips Sonicare Toothbrush. This is actually my husband's toothbrush. I used to use this as well except I have extremely sensitive gums and very sensitive teeth and this was actually causing irritation for me because I am so sensitive so I have not used this toothbrush in a bajillion years at least at least a year and so I kind of retired it my husband still uses it but I actually was contacted by Dazzle Pro to try out their Sonic toothbrush and in all honesty I was a little hesitant to try it but I was anxious at the same time because if you guys know I have a very bad dental history and so I thought well you know what? I'll give it a shot and if it's anything like the Sonicare that it might not work for me but if it's anything like the other electronic toothbrushes then I really wouldn't be interested in it because they really don't do that good of a job compared to like a regular toothbrush so when I got the toothbrush I was pretty excited first and foremost if you look at the brush heads between the Sonicare and the Dazzle Pro. The Sonicare is much bigger than the Dazzle Pro. This here is the Sonicare, this here is the Dazzle Pro. One thing that my dentist has recommended to me is using child or baby toothbrushes. And the reason being is that I have very, very tight teeth and it's very, very, very hard to get a toothbrush in the back because there is very little space. And so he has actually recommended that I use a children's toothbrush whenever I need to brush my teeth. And so for me, right off the bat, I was really excited because the Dazzle Pro toothbrush is the size of a child's toothbrush, which means you can get into smaller spaces much easier, especially the teeth in the back where you have a hard time brushing around. So one, I was very excited about that. The second thing is, is it actually came with three brush heads, which is really exciting and it comes with a charging station. This is the basic Philips Sonicare, which only has a charging station. It's really small and that's it. But with the Dazzle Pro, this actually comes with a UV light and a storage unit where you can actually place up to four brush heads in here. So after you use it, you would dry off the brush, you would place it into the container, and when you close it, the UV light would turn on and it stays on for seven minutes and killing off all the bacteria or any stuff that's on your brush head, which is really awesome. I love that. It's part of the charging unit. As you can see, this is where the actual toothbrush goes. And the brush head comes off really easily. You just pop it off just like that. With the Sonicare, it does have a twist on mechanism, so you can't just pop it off. So there is a little bit more stability in this case, but like I said, this is a little bit too strong. Also, one thing I want to mention about these two toothbrushes is they are Sonic toothbrushes. So if you've never used these before and you're used to your old electronic toothbrush, the difference between a Sonic toothbrush and one of those toothbrushes you find in the drugstore is this is actually a Sonic vibration. So instead of up and down, left and right, or this spinning motion, this actually vibrates. But they're about the same from what I can tell as far as like the actual vibration speed. The only difference is that this one irritates me a little bit more while this one does not. Also on the back is actually, you guys probably can't see it, but on the back of the Dazzle Pro there's little nubs and the purpose of that is for scraping or cleaning your tongue which is really useful because 90% of your bad breath actually comes from your tongue and the deposits in that, that are sitting on your tongue. So if you have bad breath even after brushing your teeth, chances are you might need to scrape your tongue. The Sonicare does not include that. So overall for me, I really, really like my Dazzle Pro toothbrush. I've been using it every single day since I got it. I absolutely love it. This, like I said, is the basic model, so only it has one speed. While this actually has three different settings, the Dazzle Pro, the first one is clean, the second one is Dazzle, and the third one is Pulse. I don't really use the Pulse for anything. I typically like to use the clean. The Dazzle vibrates a little bit more. It's a little bit finer, but it actually works really nice if my gum's really sensitive because the vibration is not as severe, but it is faster. And so I can get in there if my gums are really, really sensitive, especially since I've gotten a lot of dental work done lately. And of course, like I mentioned before, I really like the UV light that's included in the kit. Now, as for the actual product price, the base model of a Sonicare toothbrush, I think, retails for $60. And then their Advanced, that has a very similar setting like the Dazzle Pro, goes for, I think, 
$250. And this Dazzle Pro Advanced GT Sonic Toothbrush actually retails for $250 as well. But they did provide me a coupon code which will allow you to get this for $99.99, which is a much better price. And it's pretty comparable to some of the other basic models of Sonic Hair that actually retail for $100. And so you could essentially get the same thing in the Dazzle Pro, except additional options and of course the UV light, which is really, really awesome. And one other thing I forgot to mention is this actually has a timing system. Both of these will shut off after two minutes. The only difference is every 30 seconds, this toothbrush will pause slightly and then turn back on because it wants you to really focus on the four quadrants of your mouth. And this actually gives you a good timing so that you can focus 30 seconds for every quadrant. You can split them up however you like, but it's a nice thing because then you at least know how long you're into your toothbrushing. Because with this, sometimes I'll be going, 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 and then all of a sudden it shuts off and I'm like, oh crap, I didn't know the two minutes were over and then I have to run it again. But in this case, it gives me a good idea of how long I've been brushing a section since it has that little pause every 30 seconds. Of course, this toothbrush is not for everybody, but for me, especially with my sensitive teeth and poor dental history, it's been amazing. And in fact, I actually got this right after I had done my initial checkup with my dentist and I had a lot of plaque. I had gone to the dentist and he's like, you know, you need a cleaning. And I said, I know. I got the toothbrush. I used it for two weeks and then I finally had my cleaning and he was like, wow, your teeth look amazing. He's like, what have you been doing? And I said, I got a new toothbrush. And he's like, well, it's been doing really well. So this has helped me remove plaque and keep plaque at bay and keeping my teeth really, really clean, which is very necessary for me because I have very weak enamel. So if you guys are interested in trying out this toothbrush system, the discount code is down below where you can get the whole system for $99.99. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you guys enjoyed these reviews and make sure to comment down below if you guys have tried either of these toothbrushes and definitely make sure to subscribe for the future videos of the whitening system that they gave me. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. Anyway, have I showed you this? Blushes, mascaras, and then my cream eyeliner. Eyeliners and jumbo pencils. Frequently used lip glosses, lipsticks, powders, bronzers, and then smaller eyeshadow palettes, my brushes my foundations and BB creams, additional palettes kind of smashed up in this corner.